Hello everyone, this is Gary Pickleface here, and I'm bringing you Worst to Best Spongebob Season 2 Episodes. Also, subscribe or you are cringe. Anyway, number 40, the bottom of the barrel, is dumped. I hate this episode so much. Like, you don't understand. Like, it... Gary and Patrick are just cruel to Spongebob, like, and all that was just for Cookie? Like, let's get this first. Um, this episode was, ugh, it, it was just bad. Like, G Gary leaving Spongebob for Patrick's Cookie? What the, 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 this was just no. Number 39, I was stupid. This is really the first episode where Patrick was being a big, big jerk to Spongebob. Like, he, he, and, um, the, the, the fake parents were making fun of Spongebob. But then the, they just realized they didn't have kids. So who's the idiot? What? The, the, no. Number 38, Grandma's Kisses. Everyone except for Spongebob's grandma and Patrick are cruel to Spongebob in this episode. And make fun of him because um, he, he, he kisses his grandma. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Number 37, squirrel jokes. They're, they're cruel to um, Sandy in this episode. Like, it's basically like grandma's kisses, except for um, Sponge. Everyone's being a jerk to Sandy, but this one was a little bit more um, entertaining than grandma's kisses. Number 36, Bubble Buddy. Honestly, this episode was just stupid. Like, I do not like the concept. It, it was just bland and boring. Number 35, Bossy Boots. Yeah, I mean, this episode's alright. It's just that, like, eh. It, like, eh, I just don't like it. It's pretty hard to explain why. Basically, Pearl um, runs the restaurant, and I don't like how um, Spongebob was treated, but other than that, it's fine. Number 34, Pre-Hibernation Week. This is basically Sandy torturing Spongebob and the townspeople for, a ti for the entire episode, except for it was a little funny. Um, yeah, that, that was the point of the episode. Number 33, Survival of the Idiots. This is, um, ugh. This is a very unpopular opinion of mine. I don't like survival. Well, I do kind of like it. It's just not as good as the other ones. Like, it's kind of like pre-hibernation week, except for a lot more humor in it. That's basically all it is. Number 32, pressure. I don't like how Squidward, Spongebob, Mr. Krabs, and Patrick were treating Sandy. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Number 31, jellyfish hunter mr krabs was being cruel to the jellyfish but i do like the ending like a lot where spongebob and the blue jellyfish become friends um number 30 crusty love honestly this is one of the only episodes where mr krabs was in a full-on cheapskate but um it, it, it's he was still kind of annoying to spongebob but yeah that's really it number 29 artist unknown I put it this low because, um, eh, that just wasn't my type of episode. It's hard to describe. I like the episode, but it's just not my favorite, as you can tell. Number 28, Patty Hype. Like, this episode's good. Like, I like the concept, and it's pretty creative and funny, but, like, at some points, it was just really bland, and I didn't like, like, it was just meh at some points. Number 27, No Free Rides. I, I don't think this episode is feels like a season two episode. I do like this episode, though. It's, I like the humor. That's basically all it is. But like other than that, it's a meh. Number 26, I'm Your Biggest Fanatic. Um, Ke Kevin was not nice to SpongeBob. Uh, uh yeah. Basically, um, Spongebob, uh, he, he, <sighs> Kevin was being cruel to Spongebob. That's all it was. Number 25, Squid's Day Off. This episode is good. 
But here's the problem. Um, I kind of don't like some of the points where Squidward gets, like, really, like, you know, crazy that I just didn't, f- I felt bad for Squidward at those points. Number 24, Life of Crime. This one was just funny. Like, the chocolate gag was pretty good. All around, this was just a good episode. Um, yeah. Number 23, Dying for Pie. Uh, the reason why it's up here is because Squidward was actually being nice. Because usually when he knew Spongebob was going to die, he he would probably, in the, like, the newer seasons, he would probably be, like, celebrating. But here, he was just being nice to Spongebob. Um, he actually cared for Spongebob. So, yeah. Number 21, Imitation Crabs. This one, I mean, it was good. Okay, I like this episode a lot. I like how, um, um, like, Squidward got the day off, and, um, 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 yeah. I like the imitation and SpongeBob asking the questions, so yeah. Um, number 20, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3. This one was the introduction to, um, Man Ray. I like the episode. I think it's pretty funny. Um, yeah. Number 19, The Fry Cook Games. The ending was sweet, and it was all around a funny episode. Um, I like the competitiveness of SpongeBob and Patrick, and, um, the, the big guy carrying Patrick. He, he was a pretty good character, to say the least. Number 18, Sandy, Spongebob, and the Worm. So, yeah. This one was a very good episode. Like, I like the part where, um, Sandy was just, like, she she has that attitude, and Spongebob was trying to stop her. And in the end, where they actually took Bikini Bottom and pushed it, that was funny. Number 17, Wormy. I, I know a lot of people would say this episode's near the bottom, of season two, but I think it's a really good episode. I like the concept of just, like, this tiny harmless butterfly, um, just, like, making the whole bikini bottom corrupt. Anyway, number 16, the smoking peanut. I really like Patrick. He, he's just so all around funny. And, um, Spongebob thinking he did it, but in the end, it was Mr. Krabs. I mean, like, that's pretty, like, something Mr. Krabs would do. Number 15, Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, I thought that was an uh, error. Anyway, sorry. Number 15, The Secret Box. I really like this episode because it's really funny. Like, it was, like, Patrick keeping a secret and then SpongeBob thinking it was a string. But then all around in the end, it was just, like, SpongeBob from the Christmas party. Like, that, that was a pretty funny ending. Number 14, Something Smells. What a good episode this one is, like, from Patrick um, saying that he's ugly, <laughs> but um, it was truly just his breath from eating that Sunday, and then, the, like, it was really good. Number 13, Your Shoes Untied. This one gets carried by the loop-de-loop song, but um, this one, this actually was a good episode, though, because um, I like the humor and how Spongebob forgot to how to tie his shoes. Um, number 12, Procrastination. This one was really creative with its visuals. It was also pretty funny how, um, yeah. It was pretty funny how Spongebob was just procrastinating, and in the end, they just took a field trip to the stoplight. Anyway, number 11, Gary Takes a Bath. Yeah, this one was just funny all around. There were so many gags in it. Like, that's really all it was. A big, funny episode. I liked it. Number 10, Squid on Strike. What a good episode this one was from Squidward, like, striking with Spongebob because Mr. Krabs isn't, like, respecting them as much. Yeah. Number nine, Welcome to the Chum Bucket. I really like the song in this episode and how how much they, Mr. Krabs needed Spongebob because Spongebob was, like, the thing that helped him. And in the end, how... That they, they was truly good. Um, number eight, Shanghai. This was the first ever episode to have a 16-minute time. Uh, I thought this episode was really good because, like, I like the gags and how 
SpongeBob, um, basically, um, worked for the Flying Dutchman with Patrick, until in the end, it was like a wish that the audience got to pick. Number seven, Squidville. I really like, um, how Squidward, like, realized that without SpongeBob and Patrick, his life is boring. Because, uh, like, sometimes when your life is too perfect, it gets boring over and over again. Honestly, it was a pretty funny episode. I really like this one. Number six, Big Pink Loser. This one was just a big, funny episode. Like, this is probably the funniest or one of the funniest in the whole package. Um, in the end, it was pretty sweet how Patrick won something and not just be a big jerk about how he didn't win anything. I like that route they took. Number five. Frankendoodle. Frankendoodle as a character is very good. Um, SpongeBob was um very, like I'm SpongeBob the Scorch Destroyer Evil, and then there's Finland gag, and then um yeah this episode was just wacky. <laughs> Number four Graveyard Shift. I really like this episode because it's like what the cr- they would do at a shift that night. Honestly, I think this episode is like. Prob is really funny, but the the fry cook. Oh, what was his name? Um, the f- oh, I can't remember, but I really liked it. Number three, um, Sailor Mouth. I really liked this episode a lot because, like, SpongeBob and Patrick learning all the curse words, and then um, just like Mr. Krabs saying how bad it is, and then he did it, and then in the end they they were. Working for Mrs. Krabs. Uh, yeah. Number two, Christmas Who. This episode was the first ever special, and I really liked it because, um, like, it was the first 30 minutes. And, um, um, yeah, I really liked how Squidward in the end was, like, at first he didn't believe in Santa, and then SpongeBob was really bummed that, like, Santa didn't come. So Squidward gave everyone a present as he was dressed as Santa, and um, I also like the beginning where they had their wish, and the song is really great. Number one is Band Geeks. I-, I don't know what else you guys were expecting. I mean, it's got to be Band Geeks. It has everything from the humor to the ending to the um Squidward actually having a successful thing. Like, this was the episode. I really like the gags in this one, like the mayonnaise is an instrument. And Sweet Victory is one of the best songs ever. So anyway, yep, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, See you later. Bye.